Hi, my name is Lena Shah, and I'm a developer at Oracle working on the con content management headless samples. Today, I'm going to show you how to build a gallery sample in Svelte using Oracle Content and Experience as a headless CMS. Let's get started. The first thing we want to do is clone this repository in GitHub. This is the universal Svelte gallery sample that is already set up to use Oracle Content Management. Open up a command prompt and do a git clone and type in the URL for this repo. Now switch over to the newly created directory. Open the sample with the code editor of your choice. I will be using Visual Studio Code. Now open a new terminal. The first thing we want to do is install the dependencies for this project. So type in npm install. Now while the dependencies are getting installed, let's take a look at some of the files for this sample. Note the package.json file. It has a number of scripts for building and starting the sample. The dependencies section lists all the dependencies the sample has. Note the dependency on the content management SDK. You will also notice a dependency on Rollup as this sample is using Rollup as the JavaScript bundler. The Rollup configuration can be found in the rolluponfig.js file. Let's also take a look at the .env file, which is a configuration file. We use environment variables to store configuration information about the Oracle Content Management Server. The server that is listed in the server underscore URL is a public Oracle Content Management Server. The channel token is what will be used by Svelte to authenticate into our Oracle Content Management instance. One thing that's really important is to ensure that you configure your cross-origin resource sharing to avoid any distributed denial of service attack. It's best not to check this information in as part of your source control code because attackers may use it to attempt to access your instance. Now that the dependencies are installed, let's start a build. Type in npm run build. This is going to create a folder called underscore underscore sapper underscore underscore. And within it, it will create both a client and a server folder. That will make our universal swell sample available to use on our local machine. Once the build is done, type in npm run start. This command will spin up a live local development server. The app has started and is now available at port 3000. So let's head on to the browser. and see the sample in action. Here the home page is demonstrating how taxonomies can be used to categorize content. Categories are child nodes of a taxonomy and can be arranged into hierarchies. For our sample, we want to show all available categories. For this, we find all the available taxonomies and then get the set of categories for each taxonomy. The home page is showing a preview of the items in a category. Clicking on this will show us all the published assets in that category. Clicking on an image in the grid brings up a larger rendition of the image and also allows you to navigate through the images in the category. Let's go ahead and take a look 
at the code which is making all this possible. All of the source code for this sample resides in the source folder. Let's open up the scripts folder and the server config utils.js inside of it. Note that the first line imports the delivery clients from the content man management SDK. In this file, you will also find a method to get a client. One of the things this file does is to instantiate a new client that will enable one to access the content that is stored in the Oracle Content Management Server. Here we are using the environment variables that were declared in the .env file. This method, getClient, is used by methods defined in services.js. So let's take a look at that file. Here you will find methods that encapsulate calls to the content SDK and return the results back to the Swell components to be rendered. For example, here's a method that uses the content SDK to make calls to fetch items for the specified category. This is another method which fetches all the categories for a given taxonomy. In short, this file contains all the content SDK calls the sample needs to render the data. In Swelt, you create pages by adding files to the source routes directory of your project. These will be server rendered so that a user's first visit to your app is as fast as possible, and then a client-side app takes over. The file name determines the route. In our sample, we want to provide two routes, the home page, which shows a list of image categories, and the image grid page, which displays all the items for a given category. The source routes index.swelt file serves the home page. And the source routes category slug.swelt serves the page for the specified category. Dynamic parameters are encoded using the square brackets. Let's take a look at index.swelt. In Swelt, components are defined in a file with the .swelt extension and can contain three optional blocks, one for JavaScript, one for HTML, and one more for component styles in a style element. As we can see here, this component imports the API from services.js. This method is then used in the preload function defined in the script block. The data that is obtained is then rendered in the HTML block. Here we can see that this component uses the gallery component to display a preview of the items in a category. This component can be found in the components folder. When you click on a category, the request is handled by the component located under the category folder. The preload function here calls the method from services.js, passing in the category ID obtained from the request URL. Let's revisit the gallery sample in the browser. As you can see, here is the home page that is being rendered by the index.swelt component that we saw earlier. A click on this preview 
will make a request for items in a specific category, which is handled by the component defined in category slash slug dot swelled component. This page makes a request for all the items that belong to that category. Well, that's it from my end. Thank you for watching this video about how you can use Svelte in conjunction with Oracle Content Management as a headless CMS to build and implement a gallery app. You can find more samples like this on our headless Oracle Content Management documentation pages. Have fun building.